Hi all, I'm Arvind Pandian. In today's video, we're going to see on cryptocurrency. We're going to see why it is most important that you should invest and uh, why should you think in a different way than we have been thinking previously that uh, uh, only money and uh, what kind of investments, uh, what kind of portfolio uh, we manage, like diversified portfolio. Nowadays, people even think cryptocurrency is one that should be available in your portfolio also as a diversified investment. Why is it that important now? Okay, that I'll show you some facts I've collected, some research papers I've collected, and some uh, historical reports that could explain on why it is important now. Okay, so let's start. You know, on 18th century and 19th century, and even in 21st century, there have been gold uh, rush, I would say, uh, in 21st century. It's in uh, South Africa, in some place, Congo, uh, I think they have been doing. But it started well back in 18, 18th centuries. Okay, So what is gold rush? Like, um, um, So some people found some gold in rivers. And then uh, many people, you know, stamped to that particular location. And then they uh, wanted to get rich in a shorter period. Okay, That was a thing happening at that particular period of time. So gold rush were typically marked by general beyond feeling free for all in income mobility. Okay, so it it will make you much more rich, uh, wealthy. Uh, so it, it depends on uh, not everyone gets wealthy. So who are picks like who are gets lucky there in getting the gold? Uh, depending upon the size of the gold, they get wealthy or like some return without uh, with empty hands also. Okay, in these gold rush. So why I'm comparing that with cryptocurrency is like a, even cryptocurrency is seen as a digital gold right now. Okay. And it has the same boom just like it had years back, decades back, centuries back. Okay. And people, uh, people were expecting uh, quick money just like they expect in cryptocurrency right now. Okay. If you see the historical event, what has happened? So in 2016, this is in millions. Okay. So people by, uh, by just 5 millions in 2016, very less people interested. And 2017, 18 million. And 2018, it's 35 million. And look at 2020, it's a huge jump. Look at from 35 to 101 millions. And it's still the count is growing. And it's not the end of story. So it's a boom there. That's what I'm, I'm trying to highlight here. Okay, so in 2021, the figures could be different. It could be more, uh, which I don't have the report. I do not want to show you wrong info. So I'm showing the facts which I see here. Okay, so what I'm trying to say here is like, there is a boom in cryptocurrency. You should invest, stay invested and make use of that situation. Okay, and the risk. So the, the article which I was referring to. So there was an article written uh, back in 2020. And uh, it talks about the risk and return of cryptocurrency. So what it, it concludes, I just come to the conclusion part of it. It's a whole article, but I come to the conclusion part, what they are trying to say. So they are trying to say that the returns of cryptocurrency can be predicted by two factors specific in the market. Okay, one is the momentum and the investors attention to it. So right now the momentum is good. It rises, falls, falls, when it corrects, it gives you an opportunity to, to buy and then multiple people you know uh, attention is towards cryptocurrency that we saw here many people are moving towards cryptocurrency so the attention is definitely there and the boom is definitely there so whenever there is a boom or like a, a, a sudden interest you could try to utilize that okay that's what i'm trying to show you and uh, why is it pull many people as i said a quick money look in 2017 it gave people 1318% return and 2018 there was a fall but consolidated like when people hold it for a little longer period there was once a period when um, bitcoin was mined for free and think about those people who, who got it from here and uh, look at the percentage so when i go at the higher scale like this so from here to the so the latest highest uh, then you could see 8000% return just from 2017 to 2021 Okay, so that's a huge return. That's what people uh, think that uh, they could be benefiting a lot. Okay, now I, uh, I wanted to show you there are not only Bitcoin, there are heavy like uh, uh, there are 4,000 plus, I think 4,000, 5,000 plus 
different cri- cryptocurrencies you know uh, satisfying different needs one is better than the other so there are different ones i'll i'll request you to go through uh, multiple stuff pick your uh, own cryptocurrency which uh, which you feel as confident that could rise it's like a little lottery but uh, investing a small quantity and expecting a just a uh, 5000 6000 waiting for years then you definitely get it's not nothing wrong but just investing 1000 rupees 2000 rupees in one or two and then you expect something big it's nothing wrong with that okay and uh, there is a huge list i do not want to uh, you know go you uh, go through with a one by one list and say buy this buy that uh, that i could definitely do if you are interested leave that in the comment and let me know if you are interested in any specific uh, cryptocurrencies okay and the other thing i wanted to highlight is like these are all paid ones so these are all you have to buy physically by paying money okay there are some without uh, money you could uh, get it for free just like bitcoin started some time back you could also mine some of the cryptocurrencies like there is a uh, pi network and uh, copying that pi network many started off that there is like b um, it's a replica uh, but it's not that great but pi is doing great work it's like 21 million subscribers right now so it's growing uh, to a higher phase like uh, they are expecting 100 million by this year and hopefully they will be getting that because uh, you know uh, the the chain they are building up the customer base they are building up it's huge okay so if you are interested just go to the video description any video description then you will find my referral code and a link to download and use okay and another thing why crypto is most important i want to say is like even big big financial giants like goldman sachs they take a u turn now and they say cryptocurrency as an asset class what do they mean by asset class asset class is nothing but the classic asset class is equity and bonds and cash and so on okay so this particular cryptocurrency has very less uh, i would say less in here let me move to here so they also say less exposure to traditional class assets okay so what do i mean by that okay so it's not majorly impacted when you uh, when you're holding cryptocurrency if something wrong happens with uh, your bond or something uh, it 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 indirectly gets a uh, a high interest okay meaning like uh, okay that is being impacted then let me move to cryptocurrency that's a phase you will see okay so even big big giants they are expecting a huge uh, thing and they are moving their uh, focus from normal asset class to a new type of uh, cryptocurrency asset classes also okay that's i wanted to highlight and then uh, as i said you could find the link for pi network in my description and the referral code that is required for you to use it and um, without that you'll not be able to mine free cryptocurrencies and of course when you want to buy then you could give your money uh, for real and buy some real cryptocurrencies also of course pi is also real cryptocurrency but it it has not went live to the main uh, main network i have talked a bit more about pi uh, cryptocurrency you can check in our previous videos okay that's all i got hope you like the video do not forget to subscribe take care see you next video